Hello everyone, Father Martin here. In my last year of university, I was a teaching assistant for a first year anatomy course. And during this time, I was privileged to uh, use uh, real human cadavers in teaching about the anatomy of the human body to my students. And I remember one particular class where I held a human heart for the first time, which is, the, which is roughly the size of two fists. And I remember teaching the students about how blood would flow into the atria and down to the ventricles in order to be pumped throughout the body so that oxygen may be carried uh, to all the organs um, throughout the body in order to sustain life. You know, without the heart, without blood, there'd be no biological life, uh, strictly speaking. And on this Friday, we meditate upon the passion of the Lord and we meditate upon his heart, which is pierced. And his heart is pierced so that blood may flow out of our Lord to us. So for Jesus, his blood was never meant to preserve his life. His heart was never meant to remain intact. It was meant to be pierced open, to be wounded, so that we may participate in his body and blood, so that his blood may flow out, so that those who receive it may have life to the full, a supernatural life. So on this Friday, let us meditate upon the one who has been pierced, whose blood was never meant to remain in his own body, but was meant so that others may be drawn into his heart, so that others may consume his blood and have life to the full. So let us meditate upon the passion of our Lord today and be moved to give thanks for all that he has done for us. Amen.